one. This is going to be the demo of the Serpent Warrior um, package. And we're going to start with the animations just real quick. This is a locomotion walking forward. Uh, and you can also walk backwards. Now, snakes can't walk backwards in real life, but I want to have a walk backwards in my game. Therefore, we have figured out a simple walk backwards for the Serpent Warrior. Uh, we'll go back to the idle there. We've got our idle break animation. Now you'll notice the uh, tongue here that keeps sticking out on a loop. It's um, actually its own animation layer, and so it's not tied to the rest of the animation. So it'll let, um, go back and forth uh, as as it um, just as it does on its own. Uh, we've got three attacks here. Uh, we do have long claws, so these are all uh, attacks with the claws, and we have two casts as well. This is a um, Show that from a different angle. Uh, throws a little energy ball out there. And then uh, this other cast. A little bit of uh, dust. Alright, then we've got the dodge animation. Kind of matrix like. Dodges backwards. Uh, and if he gets hit. You may also notice his uh, facial animations he reacts with the uh, got hit well. These tail whips can also be used to turn him around. Uh, he turns 180 uh, thereabouts, but they're used for attacks as well. His taunt animation and his death animation. So, um, we have more stuff to show here too. These are some texture sets that um, I've pre-created for you. It's, uh, as all of my models are, they're completely um, uh, customizable in the editor. You, you can uh, set them up however you want. I'm actually going to change the uh, lighting to a point light system. This is what it might look like if you was in a dungeon environment. Um, so these are uh, come with a package, uh, but you can of course use sliders to adjust it however you see fit, um, and get the exact look you want for your game. also have uh, the gear can be changed as well and again each one of these is independent of the rest and there's a lot of options um, that you can use to to get the look that you want for your character there we go. So we'll go back to the default gear and for that gear of course you can turn them all off if you'd like or you can turn on just a bit and you can create the uh, the look that you want for your character. So you can keep on just some bracers, just the pouches, uh, just one pouch, whichever works for you. Uh, so you can create lots of different levels of character here. Um, next, we have uh, some blend shapes for you. And these are things that you can easily set up. Uh, there's a script attached to the object um, that will let you slide these pretty much exactly as I'm doing here in the demo scene. Uh, and then they save over over time. Um, so if you set up a prefab, uh, then it will save so you can create prefabs of different uh, characters that you'd like. Uh, or you can uh, randomize it. If you write a script, you can simply randomize it. I do have a very simple API um, where you can just uh, call a function and, and set it so you can randomize that value. Here's a head width so you can make it look a little bit stronger is body thickness. You notice the uh, pouches and armor uh, do a pretty decent job of morphing with the size of the body. Arm thickness, pretty much how strong he is. And then uh, nail length as well. So you can 
make them down to have zero uh, nails or very short nails, real, rather, or very long nails, and then the attacks can be very quite slashing with the attacks. Um, and uh, there you go. So uh, ultimately, now you, you're able to make a character that's strong. You can make a character that's you know pretty weak. Um, and uh, uh, and you can make lots of different looks of the Serpent Warrior, uh, all from the same model, with um, you know pretty much anything you, you'd want to uh, to do. So let me know what you think about this guy. I think he's pretty cool. He's one of my favorites so far. Um, I think uh, just the way he looks is pretty awesome. The way he moves around is awesome, and the uh, the ability to do the blend shapes is pretty cool too. So. Um, if you have any questions, let me know on the forums, and uh, I hope you enjoy using the uh, Serpent Warrior. Thanks, guys.